everyone i am going to make tandoori cauliflower so just a quick note i do not like my cauliflower in too much of a big chunk so i try my best to cut them in tiny little bite-sized pieces and these are all my ingredients um you would also need a tray Ooh, whoops <laughs> you'll also need a tray so i have my tray right here put it right about there and I'm gonna mix all these ingredients together and then put my cauliflower in the oven to bake hey guys so the first thing you want to do is spread your cauliflower out onto your tree another quick note make sure your cauliflower is not like soaking wet what I do is just put them um, when I'm finished washing them I would put them lay them out on a uh, clean towel or maybe a paper towel and just have them absorb all that extra moisture so I'm gonna take the same bowl and I'll add my yogurt or dahi in my case I'm using dahi dahi is just natural yogurt so you can use plain Greek yogurt I am going to add my ginger and my garlic and again guys don't forget that all um, all the ingredients that I'm using I will post it um, in the description box below in the exact order in which I'm actually putting them in here so I have my tandoori and a little bit of um, cayenne pepper because just for a little extra heat but you don't have to put that if you don't care for your tandoori to be too um, hot I honestly I particularly don't like too much pepper I can't have it but this tandoori um, this tandoori uh, blend is very mild it's not that peppery so if you really want a little extra heat add a little bit of cayenne pepper so I have here my lime juice and my um, honey it up really good okay so I did not add any um, added salt to this either because my tandoori blend it has salt already added to it so just in case you are wondering what um, brand or what blend I use um, let me show it to you quickly okay so this is the tandoori masala I use and it has a lot of really really good ingredients in it so you can check this one out and you will really love it so because my tandoori already has um, salt, I'm not going to add extra salt. So what I want to do is just brush my nice tandoori onto my, um, onto my cauliflower. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and continue doing the rest and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I am finished um, coating my cauliflower florets in my tandoori piece and I just have a little bit of fresh herbs that I'm gonna just drizzle at the top here and I'm gonna save a few just a little bit back um, to add as a garnish when my um, cauliflower is finished baking so you just want to make sure that it is you spread it out as um, as much as you can so choose a nice wide uh, baking tree and 
there we go I'm gonna pop it into the oven in a preheated oven at 450 degrees for um, 30 minutes but in between that I'm gonna I'll take it out and I'll turn them and then pop it back into the oven Guys, so once you're actually going to use a broiler, you want to just pay attention, right? Because it could easily get burnt. So what I do is kind of move them around, move the tray around from time to time, you know, to make sure that it's not getting too dark on one end or in some places. 